Welcome to the huddle. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, and I'm here with the guy that apparently is greater than Britt Johnson, Matt Demecki. Hey, she said it, so I'm, I'm, I'll just leave it there because yeah, we I actually like it. came across yeah. a comment. Uh, do you remember the guy's name? I don't. We will find it. <laughs> um, but he said that Matt Demecki is greater than Britt Johnson, and you know what? I'm letting you have your moment. Shine, shine, Matt, shine. I just want to take it all in real quick because I mean, a lot of you guys like Britt. So I'm just taking in the moment right now, so. Enjoy it, it's Thank all you, you. <laughs> it's all you. Well, um, we have some other moments that we would like to share today, I guess. Yeah. US Today ranks the top quarterbacks of the 2016 season. Now, their top five was Patriots one, Green Bay two, Atlanta three, Steelers four, and Seattle five. Did they get that right? They almost did, but the one thing that they got wrong I'm, you guys are gonna get mad at me for this, but I think they should switch Green Bay with New England to put so Green Bay at the Aaron top. Aaron Rodgers should be number one. Aaron Rodgers should be the number one quarterback because as a quarterback overall, Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady because Aaron Rodgers, he doesn't have that system Tom Brady has. I believe Tom Brady is a system quarterback. He's a system <laughs> quarterback. And Aaron Rodgers, at a pure talent standpoint, is one of the best quarterbacks we've ever seen in our lifetime. So I just think Aaron Rodgers overall is a better quarterback than Tom Brady. Yeah, I said it. I don't care what you guys think. But yes, Aaron Rodgers. I that's think it. They, I think they got it pretty wrong um, because, hello, you said one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, the greatest rookie to ever play the game. Dak oh, Prescott. Oh, man. Dak Prescott. Not only is he the first and only rookie to ever have over 3,500 yards and less than five interceptions in a season, only other person to do that was Tom Brady, and he did not do that in his rookie year. But, um, hello, do you guys re do you remember that game where he had, like, 428 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions? Like, Dak Prescott what? should be on that list. He where, where are you gonna put the him? Dallas Cowboys. Where are you going to put him I would the actually list? remove Atlanta. No, I wouldn't remove Atlanta. I'd move the Steelers and I would remove the Seahawks because I am also going to add to that list David Carr. Or Derek Carr. Sorry, little brother. What? Derek Carr. I'm adding Derek Carr to that list. Do you think Dak's better than Derek Carr? Um, I think he had a better rookie year than Derek Carr. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Here, first of all, Okay, Dak's a great quarterback, all right? As much as I, I hate the Cowboys, and I say it every day, I hate the Cowboys, Dak's a great quarterback. But he's not top five right now. I mean, he's, he, he had a top, top five for that se for last season, he, yes. he had a top three running back, Cowboys, one of the best O-lines in the league. How are you not okay, going to have a top three so season? What? You could put, so what? You could put our cameraman, like Dave. saying that the Patriots have a system, that's a you, system quarterback. That's but, the Cowboys system. He works in that system, and that system not only made them go 13-3 and three and be number one in the NFC East, number one in the NFC, number one in the entire NFL. But it ended up being Come another on. playoff loss. But it I'm saying, you could put though. our cameraman man Dave back there behind that offense, offensive line and put Stop Zeke it. back there Stop and he'll because, win six games. Because a couple other guys tried to go behind that offensive line and they didn't do just a, as good of a job. So I mean, Tony, Tony Romo did perfect behind that line, but he, he lost the playoff game. But he so still got I'm hurt, saying, so it doesn't matter. I think Dak is top 10. That's what I'm going to say. But as a top five list, Matt Ryan's better. Ben Roethlisberger's better. Russell Wilson's I better. Think, I don't uh, think Russell Wilson had a better season last season year than Derek Carr but he, or I know but, but this was for is, last like, season this was the best quarterback no of last but season. that's what I'm saying like Russell like as a quarterback purely as a quarterback Russell Wilson's better than Dak Prescott not I last mean, season if no. you switch teams I'm telling you Dak is not gonna throw I'm telling you yards and less than five interceptions in an entire season. Yeah, rookie that I know, rookie, I know. Though, no, I know. That's and impressive. Not, not even a rookie. He's only the sec he's the second player to do that in NFL history regardless of rookie or not. I'm just saying the talent around him was a lot better. That's all that's all I'm saying. But that that list they just got to switch Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, that's it. No, and We're add add Derek Carr and add uh, Dak Prescott. Maybe next year. Maybe, Maybe year. this year. <laughs> we'll keep it moving though for next year. But um, we're going to actually switch topics completely and head to the hardwood. Um, let's talk about the Lakers because that is your team, you know. Um, is Magic overhyping Alonzo? He actually 
came out and said that he thinks Lonzo Ball is one of the greatest to ever play or will be one of the greatest to ever play and says that he will actually average a triple double this season. Um yeah, I mean he's overhyping him a little bit, but I don't I don't think that pressure is gonna phase Lonzo, you know, because I obviously like he won summer league MVP. To me that doesn't mean anything. To a lot of people it means something really big. Yeah, it didn't but, mean anything to me. Either. I mean honestly like Lonzo, like they were saying, he's a transcendent player. Like his passing, th that's something you can't teach. You're just born with, you know? And I think the pressure that LeVar put on, put on him his whole life, coming here to the Lakers, I think this is going to be nothing for him. Right. So I just think, yeah, we're overhyping him, but he's not going to choke under pressure or anything like that. He's going to show up his rookie year. Yeah, I think he'll have a good season this year. And um, I mean, Magic is, you know, the new big guy in town for the Lakers. Yeah. So of course he's going to like, make his players shine and think they're the greatest and want them to do the best. Like, you gotta like, you know, mm. rub their back a little bit and tell them they're awesome. Like, that's yeah. just like a dad would do to their kids, you know? And now Magic's, you know, leading the Lakers here. So of course he's gonna have all the confidence in the team that he's creating. Mm. So I but, definitely. But yeah, there, I mean, honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Like overhyping a player, that's, that's actually a really good thing. A lot of people look at it as bad, but. Would you rather we'll be a person know who people expect more of you and you don't match that or would you rather be like the opposite though you know like i think them saying this and then if he yeah. comes out like this it's gonna look bad than if you were to just you know yeah but I, I just don't see that with lonzo i mean the pressure like i said has been on all, all his life so this is nothing for him well okay. we want to know what you guys think who are your top five best quarterbacks of the 2016 season and is lonzo ball being overhyped and if so is he going to live up to that standard? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.